Good afternoon, Lace Jumpin' I'm John, this is many a true dirt, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Where last time, we made sure the CPD didn't make a terrible mistake with a couple of misidentified suspects, and uh, if we're very lucky, we might have put the entire organisation onto a better path. You know, a bit more ask questions first and maybe don't shoot at all later. And as a result, yes, Lena, who is a bit more in favour of uh, shooting everybody, uh, she's kind of uh, stood down to a certain extent. And instead, uh, it's up to me and Simon uh, to track down the real bad guys. And speaking of which, yes indeed, it turns out they're barely round the corner. So, uh, right, let's go check in on them. Though, yes, I can't help but notice signs of, you know, uh, a raised encampment here on the highway. So... Uh, Okay. I suspect possibly, uh, yes, yeah, storming that might be our first order of business today. Because, yeah, that has got gunner markings all over it. So, okay, Simon, uh, let's talk business. That's the camp up ahead, but it doesn't exactly look like it's overflowing with these hellhounds. That doesn't mean it's not their camp, but we'll need to go in to be sure. Okay. And I can't help but notice, you know, just in terms of uh, background noise. Uh, okay, just double check that some, um, you know, nice, friendly people and whatnot. That's Brotherhood and not a um, gunner vertebrate, because uh, just occasionally uh, you can get gunners in vertebrates. Oh no, that is definitely Brotherhood. I just saw some power armor come out. So, uh, right, if we're lucky, there's, there's a cocking second one. Okay, so while our problem possibly solves itself, just out of interest, yes, on this occasion, are we like, you know, uh, playing it calm and whatnot, or are we actually going in all guns blazing on this occasion? Well, as you do this kind of thing all the time, I thought you might take the lead, then I'll follow and give you cover. Okay, that does sound like, you know, uh, you're expecting this one to get messy, but... Yeah. We were deceived once, so let's not go in assuming that these are the bad guys who need blasting. Looks can be deceiving. They sure can, so let's make sure we're ready for anything, and not shoot anyone unless they're trying to kill us. Okay? Alright, we will do that, and yes, as we're just, you know, a killing time out here, our friends in the Brotherhood might have already bloody finished them off. Oh yeah, I was completely spot on. It's 100% of this camp here, and... Uh, it's literally got cocking Brotherhood people just circling around, uh, taking them out. Like, I don't know how many are left, but, um, uh, well, the Brotherhood are naffing off, or at least some of them are naffing off. And bare minimum, uh, you guys are going to give away your position, aren't you? Because, uh, oh yeah, you're going to be firing at these here birds. So there's one right there. So, gosh darn it, we didn't quite get the tag on you. Uh, right, we need to go up here. They're going to be uh, so distracted uh, by the Brotherhood, so... Oh, hang on. Speaking of which, there's a legendary Knight Sergeant, so... Uh, well, this is just cocking lovely. I enjoy it when this happens. Uh, you know, the Brotherhood just moves in and does your job for you. Right, just take out turret. That's... Never mind, angle is not great. There we go. Now we're taking out turret, so... Uh, okay. There's definitely a one gunner here. Give him the chance to fire first and... Well, that's a gunner. But there's also a thing saying a hellhound is somewhere around here and... Uh... Okay. There's somebody up top. So, okay, our real target's going to be, yeah, up on the top floor. And for the time being, the marker's green, but his health bar is in red. Which makes me think that the moment he detects me, he's going to open fire. But we are not going to shoot him until we have verified that. Because otherwise, Simon would be disappointed in me. And there we go, straight into caution. So, you had your chance, buddy. You had your chance. Down you flippy go. Second shot should take care of you. Marvelous. Not quite what we were expecting. But now that we have the place to ourselves, we should look for clues as to what they're up to. So right, just tear off here's a scalp, etc, etc. Have a bit of a poke around, I am guessing a hang about... One holotape. Mysteriously on like, you know, a, a podium with a microphone and whatnot. Hellhounds! 
Today we hunt! Today we remind the Commonwealth why they fear our fight! Those children playing dress-up have been led on yet another false trail. Their ranks divided and confused. No longer will we toy with them. Today, we chase them into the halls of their own lair. Today, their nest will be soaked with blood. Hellhounds! Show no mercy! Hunt them down! Hunt them all down! Oh no. That's why we didn't find them here. They're going after the HQ. We need to get back before it's too late. Okay, so it turns out the business with the Butcher wasn't just, you know, an attempt to pin the blame on someone else. It was also a diversion, so we need to get back to Bad TFL, like now. And I tell you what, Bad TFL isn't actually that far on foot, so right. We'll go by Covenant and drop a safety saver there, just in case, yeah, this fight's a bit on the mean side. And then we're gonna go help Bad TFL. Also, hilariously, I swear the Brotherhood is, well, one, following me, and two, just exploding. That was two vertebrates in a row that just exploded over the same bit of the wasteland. I don't even know what killed them, though. Okay, thinking about it, that probably means I should leave, because, uh, yeah, there might be something nasty enough around here to bring down two cocking vertebrates. Okay, John, just stick to the plan here. Stick to the plan and just, yeah, follow the road down to Covenants. Though then again, maybe I don't have to because, um... Right, I don't remember actually ever claiming the Taffy to Boathouse, but apparently I did. Right, drop a save and cook up a few bits of meat here while we're passing by. And on we flipping go. You know, I did rather fail to consider the time, but yes, is this going to bring me... Right next to the beginning of uh, Automaton. Okay, you know what? No trouble. No trouble whatsoever. Just walk away, though. Okay, this is going to leave me... I was about to say stuck between two different war zones. But um, uh, three, actually, because there's also bugs here that I've not been paying attention to. So, uh, right, that's you dead. Keep on keeping on. Uh, right, headquarters is... Uh, over in this direction, though. We might be able to get up onto the high ground using... Uh, no, we can't get up there, unfortunately. Right, just keep on keeping on. Poke our way up forward. Maybe, yeah, get to the high ground if we can. And I'm hearing a lot of cocking gunfire, actually. So, okay. Out front here. Okay, so it turns out Simon is not taking such a, you know, sneaky, sneaky approach. He's just charging forward. So, I probably should too, because there's... Definitely something else moving over there. Right, Simon, sorry about that. I was being a bit, you know, sneaky and whatnot. So, uh, here we cocky go. A hell of hounds. Uh, one shot should take care of uh, you. And number one, uh, there's Simon. He's not doing great suggesting. Okay, we've got one uh, there. There's also more reinforcements from uh, the CPD. Should take you out. There's one more there. But yeah, once again, uh, Penetrator doing the job. Okay. Down we go, bit low on AP. There's Cook and Shandy. And the outside has been. Never mind, the outside is not secure. Instead, there is maybe one more, but at this point, I feel like, yeah, this was not a good decision by you to attack us. Now you basically just Cook and trapped yourselves. That's the last of them. Anyone know what's going on inside? Hi, boss. There's a shit ton of them shooting everything up. I snuck out to get help. They got Miss Lena locked up. She's beaten bad, but still breathing. Right. We need to get in there and rescue them. Are you with me? Absolutely. Though, you know what? As a local leader, what if we, you know, just make it a sure thing by bringing in some reinforcements? Like, you've literally got some cops standing around outside doing nothing right now. Good thinking. Come on, everyone. We're taking back our HQ and rescuing our friends. I do enjoy how much local leader contributes to this mod. Given, you know, it feels appropriate. It's literally a mod about building a settlement and being a mayor and whatnot. So it's very appropriate. Also, oh my goodness, there's actually adorable police dogs who have got like, you know, little satchels on them so they can carry supplies. That's adorable. 
And okay, if we're going up against, yeah, loads of them, then maybe the laser sniper rifle eats a little bit too much AP. Combat rifle's gonna be a better bat. Hellhounds! New prey has been scented! Hunt them down! Hunt them all down! Guess they know we're here then. At least while that bastard is using the PA system, we know he's at the mic in the office. Okay, my plan to, you know, sneak in a new silence weaponry. Not looking great at the moment, I'll admit. So, uh, right. Prepare for trouble, I see you guys. And you know what? Screw you. One grenade round the back and... Oh my goodness, Simon's complaining about the filing. I love Simon. I love him so, so much. Right. That killed some of you. There is one robot, but I think we verified last time. Yeah, we're not able to get that open. That's expert, and I do not know where the password is. Further into our jaws come the fools who follow false trails. Who thought Private Emmons could lead us? Show these dupes no mercy! You know, I'm starting to regret us getting that PA system working. Alright. I can't deny I rather like, you know, how dramatic this guy is. He's rather delightfully over the top. It's marvellous. So, uh, right, hand us up to uh, a few uh, bits and pieces. Uh, throwables, if at all possible. Uh, I suspect, yeah, we're going to be fighting past them uh, every step of the way. And hang on. Cells. This might be where Lena's being held. No, that's Patty and the Butcher. Oh, are we glad to see you. Can you get us out? I mean, it's probably safer you stay where you are. And Jess, where's everybody else? Is it just the two of you? Where's everyone else? They said this cell was too good for your friend. Said something about taking them to a smaller one. Okay. So I feel like, yes, you stay in here for your own safety. Oh, okay. Just don't get killed or, you know, forget about us. Here, I've got the key. Can you two get yourselves outside? Don't want you getting caught up again. Thank you, and good luck. You know what? Them going back the way we came, and that's fine too. So, uh, right. The question is, what's the smaller, nastier cell? Because I'm not sure there are any other cells, so... Uh, oh dear. What have they done to poor Lena? Hellhounds! Show your worth, and make these worthless lawmen bleed! Okay, well, if that means they're planning to come to me, that's good news, because trying to move up this staircase can be a bit, you know, tricky. But, Simon, don't do it. Okay, just move her forward, try and find a target, and... Okay. Nobody. Mildly surprising, but all right. Just keep cracking open everything. What I'm hearing... There we go! Right, I mean... He told you we were coming, but sure, whatever. Just one shot in the head for you, and there is a lot in here. So, okay, you know what? One grenade. That should take out maybe two of them. Didn't do a thing somehow or another, but go for you. Number one. Number two. And, yeah, I think the office with the mic is round to the right. And I've kind of given myself some cover using this here painting, which is delightful. And, no, that was a box. That was definitely a box. You went down and no. Okay, all done. No sign of Lena. Or anyone who looks like they might be the commander. Gonna be a last stand in the evidence locker then. Oh, right, yes. The evidence locker. Though honestly, I don't really think that's like, you know, a nastier cell than just the cells. In fact, I think it might be bigger. Though they may be like, you know, doing torture or something in there. And you're okay? Ask me again after we rescue Lena and stop these hellhounds. And remember, my sister should be in there. So if we can avoid a firefight, or at least be careful where we shoot. Okay, don't toss in grenades. Got it. Hold right there. Unless you want to see your captain lose their head. You have proved to be an impressive quarry. My pack of hounds lay bloodied and scattered. But you face the huntsman now it's over you have nowhere to go you've caused so much death surrender now and i'll see you all have a fair trial for the people you killed okay 
So Simon sounds, you know, a bit on edge, but he's holding to his principles for now, talking about, you know, trials and whatnot. So this is Simon's business. His sister's in the room. Let's stay quiet and let him do the talking. You really think that I could remember all of the insignificant quarry who fell before my hellhounds? So few prove as entertaining as you. Although, if you could remind me how they died, then I might remember. If you could describe how they writhed and screamed as they expired. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. Oh, that's a good, a threatening way of delivering that line. Marvelous. So, uh, okay. Come on, guys. Is there maybe a way we can, like, work out some sort of deal just to guarantee Lena's safety? What do you want? From us, I mean. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. I have had you following false trails for so long now. Stalked you to your lair, and now I'm here for the final act. The kill. The glorious, bloody kill. Spring the trap! Kill them! Kill them all! Hey. Oh, never mind. It turns out they, um, don't want to talk or anything. So, uh, right. You're getting Warner right in the head. Uh, that may be enough to kill you, and if it's not, then yeah, we'll follow up with... Uh, a few to you, uh, and a few to you. So, yeah, crit in the head, uh, so you can then go to you. One just sort of missed, which is unfortunate, and, uh, oh dear, there's definitely, no! Okay, we're definitely, oh, never mind, sorry, I thought, um, everyone was dead, but no, 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 you weren't. I think Luna's okay, though. They just did a lot of damage to me. My armor is broken, but, okay, job done. Though I can't and I'm a bit sad that Elisha is dead and we don't get to like, you know, uh, do a full trial with him because uh, he is just a marvellously dramatic. I would have enjoyed seeing his defence. And okay, maybe just like, you know, uh, one stim pack so I stop wobbling around complaining about my arm. Oh, and I tell you what, he's actually got some, you know, uh, pretty damn decent stuff on him. Like the armour is nicely reinforced, there's a very fancy hat as well. And plus one to strength and agility is not bad either. You know what? I might take that as a trophy. Oh, and hilariously, yes, I actually don't have any legendary gear on my right arm right now. So in which case, this is just a straight upgrade. So yeah, I'm giving up a point of a perception, but I'm gaining 10 extra carry weight. Honestly, I think that's worth it. And mysteriously, yes, he had gloves on him, which is like a unique slot that doesn't normally exist, so... Uh, I mean, why not? That's five energy resistance for Freya. Though on balance, I will stick with, uh, yes, my Charisma Minuteman hat. Come on, Lena. Let's get you free. I'm sorry it had to end like this, but it's done now. Thank you. That psycho was just so damn sure of himself. Thought it was okay to decide who lived and who died. Don't let me get like that. Thank you. We couldn't have done this without you. We'll need a while to get this place and my sister fixed back up. Then we can get back to bringing law and order to the Commonwealth. Maybe even start putting stations in some of those settlements of yours. Alright, now that sounds potentially interesting. Because yeah, we can build like all sorts of medical buildings these days. Uh, so how about police buildings as well? Sounds good. I'll see you soon then. Yeah, see you soon. And in case I haven't said it enough already, thanks. Alright, cocky job done though. Okay, officially, I just, um, failed to uh, hand in the scalps I've got, so, uh, my slight mistake was, uh, yes, I was collecting a large number of uh, gunner scalps, but Lena's seen the error of her ways uh, and now won't take them. Meaning now I'm just stuck carrying around a large amount of bloody scalps and no one's willing to, you know, uh, buy them from me. And that really makes me look like the bad guy. And that's not fair, because this was not my idea. This is Lena's fault. And okay, if the station's a bit too big, I can also build a right. A CPD Protectron outpost. Lovely. Also, I think we may have, um, left someone alive, like, behind us, because... 
Okay, there's definitely still gunfire going on, but Simon does not seem fast by it. Hang on, who did we mess? I have no idea how we walked straight past you, but right, there was like one hellhound behind me. Okay, and as for Lena, she's not even willing to speak to me right now, so... Okay, you know what? No, that's not good enough. Which of these desks is yours? No, I literally can't even drop the gunner scalps on her desk so she has to deal with them because, um... They don't appear to exist in my inventory. So as a result of that... Right, I'm just kind of stuck carrying around 20 or so bloody scalps and I can never get rid of them. And one last thing to do as well, which is, yes, of course, Patty and Butcher Pete. We just wanted to say thanks for getting us out of there. Those animals would have done real nasty things to us if you hadn't come along. And we're real sorry to hear that some of your friends got hurt. If we heard right, you just smashed the hellhounds down to nothing. So we don't need to hide from them no more. And you are very, very much welcome, though. Recruit, you say? Hang about. Before I make a decision, just need to, you know, double check how good you are at, like, stuff. Okay, so Butcher Pete is, yes, very uh, strong indeed. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And Patty's got a good selection of skills too. She'd make a decent farmer. She'd work well in, yeah, the industrial site. She'd be a good security guard. Uh, honestly, you guys are not bad at all. All right, you two. Welcome aboard. You know, I've got a great place you could set up permanently. Interested? Yeah, of course we'd be interested. That'd be amazing. Where is it you'd like us to go? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. The marina is getting a bit, um, crowded. There are literally caps on how many people can stay in one location. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. There is the lighthouse that I might want to get to at some point or another. But, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Sooner or later... I'm going to want to build something at Spectacle Island. So uh, you guys head over there. And like, you know, uh, I promise I will come and check in with you later. And even better, I strongly suspect I'm about to get, yes, Idiot Savant on the quest completion. And uh, if we do, uh, that is going to be, uh, oh, that's going to be a lot of XP, actually. And uh, that's really cocky good news because... Here we flippy go, a sniper rank 2, non-automatic scope rifles, have a chance of knocking down your targets. And you know, when we're talking about, say, a 50 caliber rifle, that's not great because, seriously, the fire rate leaves something to be desired. But energy snipers? Oh, you know what? We could be onto something good here. Okay, that seems to be the CPD business, wrapped up at least for the time being, and maybe we'll check in with them later when we get into, you know, uh, the third act of the mod proper. But for the time being, uh, yes, let's see what Jake's got for us. Because I can't help but notice, the mod is called uh, Sim Settlements 2, uh, and like, you know, uh, this does feel uh, like Jake maybe wants me to uh, help set up a settlement of some description. Hey there, Slick. When you've got a moment, could you stop by the plaza again? There's... Something I need to talk to you about. Hey, Faith, what are you doing up there? You want to break something? You don't got an auto, Doc. Sorry, I'm just setting something up. Well, if we're all still in one piece by the time we get here, I'll meet you in the atrium by the big globe thing. See you soon. Oh, and she is adorable, by the way. Uh, yes, indeed. The game is now officially calling this a GNN headquarters, uh, not Gunner Plaza. So, uh, okay. We will definitely be heading in this direction, but given how much I keep, you know, uh, going back and forth across Boston, I think we need to take a very small diversion on the way. After all, we're pretty much ready to, uh, yeah, build the teleporter, and then uh, we could get the Institute teleporter online. Right, one a vertebird to get me out to a Virgil. Lovely. This can be a really weird trip, by the way, because, yeah, like, if your vertebird ends up getting pushed sufficiently high into the sky by various things it runs into, you can sort of, like, pass above the glowing sea and thus take zero damage whatsoever in terms of, like, you know, rats. But alternatively, sometimes that just doesn't happen 
and you take a bunch of rad damage up on your way to Virgil. It's a very inconsistent. Oh, now on this occasion we have not been lucky, so uh, right, rad X it is, gotcha. If we're lucky, yeah, we can get in, get the plans, and get back out again uh, without having to worry too much about, yeah, multiple rad X. It does last a fairly decent amount of time. And yeah, actually, if we're lucky on the way back, we can go to the marina, and I swear at the marina, we picked up a nightingale at some point, so uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, yeah, we can immediately get rid of all these rads as soon as we get back home. Anyway, down onto the ground we go, uh, straight into the cave, uh, marvellous. So, okay, got schematics uh, from uh, Virgil, though, uh, yeah, you can't just build them, you've got to actually, you know, uh, get assistance uh, from uh, some sort of technical experts. So, straight back outside, a vertebird the next, we're going to burn through, you know, a few uh, vertebird signal grenades doing this, but that's fine, and never mind, the radix wore off. Alright, team, let's get out of here. And then over to, yes, the Brotherhood, because honestly, it doesn't matter who builds the damn thing, and this way I can pick up some more signal grenades. Okay, gonna be honest, a mildly unconventional approach to the bridge when you're here, but you do you. I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job, Mr. Vertebird Pilot. Right, while I'm passing by, signal grenades topped up too. This oh, and while I think about it, the Brotherhood have got a doctor. And there we go, I'm feeling much better, marvellous. And after a quick chat with Ingram, yes, I've now got some actual usable plans, and, uh, okay, the game is like, you know, strongly implying I've now got to build the teleporter at Boston Airport. Screw that noise, I'm pretty sure you don't, and that's a lie. So, alright, instead, just call down yet another vertebrate, hopefully the last today. Because, yes, indeed, this thing needs a lot of cocky power. And I have got a lot of cocky power back at the marina. Here we go, a home sweet home, and yes indeed. Up to this point, yes, the centre point of our town has been this incredibly underwhelming small Christmas tree. And I'm gonna be honest, it's not entirely Christmas anymore. So, uh, right. That is going to go. It's not Christmas anymore. That disappears, and instead, uh, we're gonna have uh, a much more impressive, gigantic teleporter McJibble. Oh, you see, she's already looking way more impressive. Like, you know, there's a bit of blue glow, etc, etc, and... Uh, okay, at this point, like, you know, we need to speak to uh, Ingram again. I think at this point she will make her way here. She's just gonna do it on foot, so it might take a while. But don't worry about it, it'll all be fine. We'll pick that up another day. Instead, do not forget about the looting we did last week. Oh, yeah. There we flipping go. Combat rifle, 308. Brilliant. Okay, bright new day, fed, rested, etc, etc. Let's go and see what it is that, yes, my good dear old friend Jake wants. And okay, Jake, I'm gonna be honest. It does not feel like you've achieved much here over the last few days. Like, there are literally still gunner barricades set up in the front room. Welcome back to the plaza, Slick. Got some good news to share. The comm hub is fine. In fact, it's better than fine. Don't ask me how or why, but the gun has actually finished repairing it. And they even started adding some upgrades. That's great news. Part of me was dreading finding the hub, thinking what the gunners might have done to it. But turns out they were busy making it even better. That kind of brings me to the next thing I want to talk to you about. You see, I think we should stay here in the plaza. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of assumed that was the plan all along, but sure, carry on. Well, think about it. It's got real hardwood flooring, it's glowing sea adjacent, it's certainly a step up from the hardware store. And I don't suppose you've noticed what's on top of this place? Yeah, there's like a giant flipping radio McJibble, so... Uh, oh, does that sync up really nicely with the comma hub by any chance? I... well... Uh... Ah, don't worry. I'm sure you had other things on your mind. On the plaza's roof is a huge antenna. It probably used to beam news to every home in the Commonwealth. It's got a massive broadcast range. Something the gun has made good use of. Okay, I can't help but notice that, um, yes, the lightning effect, where it occasionally flashes a purple, is still happening, even though it was definitely flipping sunny outside, so, uh, 
Okay, is there just a permanent storm going on inside the plaza? That would be delightful and very dramatic, so... Uh, okay, Jake, I'm guessing you're going somewhere with this. With the gunner's gun, we'd be fools not to use this place ourselves. That's why I think we should move our operation here. Begin to really scale things up. Maybe even start bringing in outside help. With a little effort, we could turn this place into a real headquarters. I mean, I'm not 100% sure why, but sure, why not? Absolutely. Giant headquarters, uh, outside help, etc, etc. Though, seriously, yes. Well, well, like, you know, having this conversation. What is the benefit of the antenna precisely? Why is that so important? Have you ever tried using a weed whacker to mow some grass? I mean, you can do it, but it ain't really the best tool for the job. Now, my setup in Concord, that's the weed whacker. While the plaza antenna, that's the souped up lawnmower with all the bells and whistles. If we moved here, we could really start doing a lot more. Okay, it's a nice analogy, but I feel like you were sort of dodging the question there, which is, uh, a lot more of what precisely, but okay, we're just gonna go with it, and it's all gonna work out fine. It sounds like just what we need right now. I knew you'd be on the same page, and this'll let us do some cool stuff. Let me show you what I mean. Follow me. Okay, now we might be getting into, you know, some specifics. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce what we've dubbed the Calm Array. Oh, you know what? That does look a lot more fancy. I don't know what it does, but I like it. Oh my goodness, it's got all sorts of bells and whistles and switches, and I probably shouldn't start randomly pushing buttons. So, uh, no, seriously, what does it do? Hey, you should try connecting your pip boy to it. Just connect your adapter plug to the port there. Go ahead, it won't bad. Never mind, Jake 100% wants me to start just pushing buttons and plugging stuff in, so... Uh, Alright, fair enough. In you, uh, Flippy, go. Nicely done. You just upgraded your pit boys firmware. Thanks to a little creative programming by yours truly, your pit boy now has a direct link to the comma ray. Which means... That doesn't sound good. Are you kidding me? Again?! This has got to be the fourth time today! Um, fifth, I think. How many times do I have to tell him? At this point, he's got to be doing it on purpose. Okay, did somebody just get shot? What's going on? Sorry, I'll just be a minute. I gotta go take care of something. Okay, seriously, who's getting shot right now? Because that's a turret that's firing. Aiden! Aiden! What did I say about firing that turret off inside? With all this trash everywhere, you're gonna start a fire, and... Did you splash these power cables directly into the lat's wiring? Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? I don't answer to you. Besides, it's not my fault. I asked you to fix me up a generator hours ago. Well, I'm sorry, but I've had more important things to do than help you play with guns. Okay. So it feels like, you know, uh, Jake and Aiden are still not entirely getting on. What's this all about? After I shared my plan for us to move in here, Aiden decided he wanted to stay as well. I said that was fine, providing he followed the rules. Your rules, not mine. And just who put you in charge anyway? You can barely keep the lights on. I never said I was in charge, but, well, it's, someone's got to give the orders around here. And that someone is you, is it? Well, it sure as hell ain't gonna be you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Jake. You're sounding a bit unreasonable right now. Honestly, Aiden's got a point. Be patient. You'll work it out. Huh. You know, I wouldn't actually mind taking orders if it was from someone like you. Hmm. For once, I think I might agree with Aiden. You would make a good leader. And if we're gonna turn this place into a real headquarters, we're gonna need someone who can make the big decisions. I know this is rather sudden, but, well, I don't suppose you'd be interested in leading this place. I mean, they're not wrong. I do uh, very literally have the perk of local leaders, so... Uh, okay, what responsibilities am I actually, like, you know, signing up to? Well, once we're more established, you'd call the shots. 
You decide what we do and how we go about doing it. You'd be our leader. You'd be free to shape the kind of group we become. Okay, again, this feels very vague, Jake, but sure, why not? All right, I'll do it. Well, all hail to the chief. Maybe now we can get something done around here. As I'm sure you've already noticed, Jake's custodial skills are severely lacking. Hey, that is not- And mine aren't much better. If you want to get an HQ up and running, we need someone who knows how to clean up and manage a place like this. And I got just the person in mind. I'm listening. From what I understand, you already know him. The guy's name is Mansfield, Deputy Overseer of Vault 81. I think if you offered him a job overseeing the plaza, he'd leap at the opportunity. You know what? I think you might be flipping rights. Good. Now, I've got some lasers to go calibrate. Alright, so we've got the beginning of a, yes, yeah, a headquarters here, but by the sounds of it, we need to recruit some staff, like Jay was just saying, outside help. So okay, by the sounds of it, we have now wrapped up the CPD business, and on top of that, I've just made, you know, maybe a, a bit of a big commitment. I'm now in charge of this gigantic bloody headquarters, and uh, that's not just about, you know, uh, making decisions, uh, it's also about literally going out and recruiting the right staff. So, uh, how about we wrap things up there? But next time, okay, we are jumping straight on with this. Heading over to uh, Vault 81 and seeing precisely what this headquarters might be able to do for me. So, hopefully, you join me next time for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.